Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Scar here, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermits and Crafting. And we're flying over our pretty much now complete pirate island, now featuring an actual pirate ship. Finally, after almost a year, we've got ourselves a pirate ship, and it was quite a disaster in itself to create that thing because, as I mentioned, Building boats is not something I am good at. I'm actually awful at it, and there was a lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into constructing that boat, but I'm so glad it's done. I'm happy that it's kind of unique and different from your average sailing ship. So yeah, thank you guys so much for the support on that. It was very, very much appreciated. One thing that was funny about my last episode is the comments roasting me for being so bad at building pirate ships. They were like, Scar, you build a volcano? but you can't build a wooden boat. <laughs> they were funny, and I really appreciate them. There were a lot of good comments about that. Um, but yeah, it's true. You could give me enough resources and enough time, I can build pretty much any kind of landscape structure. Just time and resources. But when it comes to boats like that, yeah, that's a, that's a bit of a challenge for me. But like I said, I'm happy with the end result. But... I am very glad it is done because we can use it as a template to build more ships out in the harbor on Twitch streams, but there is still one project I'd like to tackle here on the island, and that is a storage room. Eventually, not today, because there's some stuff going on on the server we have to attend to today, but I'd like to build an actual beautiful pirate-inspired storage room in this volcano, and I think we could do something really unique and different with a spiraling design, which I think will be really fantastic, inspired by the Little Mermaid, I will point out. Oh, you think I'm kidding? I am not. Just wait till you see that storage room. But until then... We've got some things to attend to in this shopping district, and also, Skara has been growling all day today. We gotta go check in on her. Skara's concerns will have to wait as we commence our commerce, which is a priority. <laughs> there we are, some beautiful diamonds. I smelled those. I smelled those a long, long ways away. Looking super snazzy. Let's check in on our number one selling thing here, the flip phone, and... oh. We got no sales there. Well, that's kind of sad. <laughs> wait, 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 there's a diamond. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, that's 19 diamonds there. I'm happy about that. Tom cruising it right into Top Gun Powder, and it looks like we sold two flight boxes. Let's grab the diamonds, and we'll have to restock this. Ooh, another 18 diamonds. And there we go. Vex rocket boxes fully back in stock here. Dropped off the profits for Cub, and now we've got to turn our attention to ghostly glass. We did not restock our glass shop in our last episode, and we need to do that now. So, whew, this is gonna be a huge challenge. Well, hello there. <laughs> There's been so much expansion out the backside here. There is the wool shop, and now, what is that? Storage wars, <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> okay. This is awesome. So I saw that this was a mumbo build and shop. So apparently it's similar to the TV show, uh, instruction book and uh, bidding tokens. Oh, this is so cool. So you push down the buttons and then it reveals the storage unit for a brief second. And if it's something you like in it, you can then make a bid. So there's like Zuma, whoa. Zuma's coming in hot on that one. <laughs> Ooh, people want this one a lot. Anyway, all right, we're gonna have to do this for sure. But before we can play, we gotta work, and that's restocking Ghostly Glass. And I wanted to stop by here and point out that this place is looking super snazzy now. It is fully cleaned up, no more chess monsters anywhere to be seen. And uh, yeah, it only took like an hour. <laughs> but anyway, let's get our sand, and I've been gathering up a lot of sand, so I want to make sure I actually get sand and not sandstone, and uh, hopefully this is going to be enough to smelt down and start restocking that shop. I've been slowly filling up the furnace here in preparation for ghostly glass, so every time I see the kelp farm back there uh, producing blocks, I always bring it on over here because this is going to be a lot of smelt- Scara. <laughs> 
<laughs> She's so agitated. I don't know what's going on back at uh, Hermitville, but we will be back there. Don't worry. We just got to take care of the commerce first. Eight shulker boxes smelted down into glass. And I'm going to keep these pure glass and the rest of this will be turned into stained glass. So this is going to be a lot of work to dye all these. And another thing I've been working on off camera is getting enough dyes ready for this. So I've got a ton of red, I've got a ton of yellow, and I bought a whole bunch more bone blocks from Azuma. And I've been, I've been working really hard getting this ready and brought all of our lapis from our mines. So with that, we should have enough to try and think of the word colorify the glass. Finally, everything is fully back up in stock here at Ghostly Glass. And I put a preference towards the black, gray, light gray, and white because these were our number one selling pieces of glass. I guess they're neutral blocks, so you use these for your windows and things along those lines. And then the next ones were our greens, I think. And our least popular is sadly pink. Nobody cares about pink. Write something nice in the comments for pink. Anyway, I think we are pretty good here. Oh, I also filled up the... Where are they? Here they are, our standard clear glass looking super fancy. And as I said before, we might do modern glass here sometime, um, but I think we'd have to strike a bargain with the Ice Queen to make that happen. But now, like I said, we had to finish our work, so we can go play. Oh, I'm super excited to play. Hermit Storage Wars. <laughs> what is this sign right here? Please read instructions before using. That is a lot of exclamation points. I assume this was added after the build was completed. Somebody didn't follow the instructions. You don't go four exclamation points for nothing right there. Anyway, let's see. Instruction book. Perfect. And let's take a peek here. Welcome to Storage Wars. Bidding opens at 5 p.m. BST on 6-7. 19. The concept is simple. Grab some of the building ships, rename them to your IGN. Each chip, wait, do I do Scar? Good times with Scar? Or good time with Scar? Represents one diamond. Whoa, hello. Uh, two, there are five different, okay. These are a lot of instructions. I'm sure we'll figure it out as we go along. <laughs> I feel bad. I, I'll, I'll read it. I'll read it. I'm going to read it right now. Okay. I read through the whole book. Everything's fine. Also, I got really confused like 1407 that I was remembering. Oh, those silly British people and their numbering. Anyway, let's get started. Let's grab some chips and let's just get two stacks of those. And I'm just going to go with Scar. Just going to go with Scar here. <laughs> And then we'll do one more right here. I, I'm pumped. Man, working all day trying to get the glass shop all set up. Now we can have some good times. So let's start with our first one. Enter bids for number one here. Okay. So we're not allowed to enter and we only have a second to look in. We can't open these things at all. We can just kind of, you know, peer around the corners. Okay. Okay. Easy does it, door. I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay. This is number two. Oh, oh my. All right. Well, oh man, what's in that shulker box? <laughs> and it's gone. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Is this number two? Okay. It, the zoom is in and the green's trying to get that one too. All right. Here is number three. Okay. Well, I already got all this. I mean, come on. I'm, ch I'm the CEO of Cherry. <laughs> the most premium of shops on the server. Who's who wants this? Red wants that? Come, oh, come, come, you have a red cherry card. And then zoom on that one. Okay. And then next one here. Um, hello? <laughs> There's nothing in there. <laughs> I want that one. Hold on. Can I push the button again? I can't remember. But there was one single item on an item frame. I want that. I don't know what it is, but I need it. It's in there. And I want it. Storage worth security? I'll assure you, I did not enter the premises. I've been a good... <gasps> you distracted me so that creeper landed on me. How dare you? Oh, this is so bad. Oh, no. Okay, we need to fix this. Oh, oh, this is so bad. Oh, my gosh. No, I'm trapped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've been totally raided out of storage wars. <laughs> Fought off the raid, cleaned up the area, but one thing still persists, and that is some broken redstone. And I've been trying to figure out how to fix this. See, we're not getting any action, okay? So we got a problem there. I did fix this one. I want to point out that that one was fixed by me, but to fix this, 
we're gonna have to take this up to the prodigy level. So I've got out some cherry care equipment here. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to fix this. I think I can see the potential issues on what broke, and I think we can model it somewhat after the other ones, I suppose. And also, as an apology to Mumbo, I think we can upgrade his um, SSDs. Let's give him the two terabyte platinum, and then I think we can upgrade his cabling. Yeah, let's go with the 64 over what he's using now. That's like some old generation tech, so wish me luck. I think we've got it. It's all fixed. Let's push the button here with a power of a thousand prodigies. We seem to have a malfunction. Okay, it closed. It closed. Is that a success? This appears to be the situation. This piston is fully extended, but why is that? I've modeled everything after all the other circuits. Look at this right there, right there, but I don't get it. Like, why are you not? Oh. <laughs> okay. I think we fixed it. This was supposed to be some relaxing, fun and games before we headed off to Hermitville. Has been nothing but. <laughs> but I think we've got it fixed up and Mumbo should never know what happened here. And please, this is just between me and you. I may have blown up Mumbo's bill, but we don't need to tell him that, okay? I also, for courtesy measures, I upgraded him to a Cherry CPU with a five gigahertz CPU. So that is quite an upgrade. Ooh, should we have given him some RGB lights? Hmm, we should. Or we can give him some cloud surface. <laughs> These are all little bonuses to help him out. But yeah, look at this, it opens all on its own. Yeah, perfect. By the way, I will get that. <laughs> at this point, I have to have it. But we need to check this one because we haven't looked at this one fully yet. Portraits, oh, I like it. Vincent van Gogh, entire collection. Okay, okay, what do we bid on? I The diamond one it feels like it's a trap, like fake diamonds, honestly. <laughs> At least that's how I would have done it, and then make people bid on something else that has like a chest, but all the diamonds are in there. So I'm going to say this is the one we're going to go for. And wait. <laughs> I'm sorry, Impulse. I'm so sorry. I forgot to put that back. Okay. So for the single item, what is this? Impulse, Impulse, False, Joe, Cub, and Randuck. Okay. You know what? I want this so bad, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're doubling you guys up. But anyway, that was fun, Mumbo. Um, I'm so sorry. So sorry about your door. But anyway, Hermitville's a calling. It has been quite some time since we've been back to Hermitville working on Scarastic Island and not feeling good for a week. I have not kept up with what has been going on here. So I'm eagerly anticipating seeing some changes and I'm already seeing them before going through the portal. We've got a beautiful new tunnel built by Impulse, of course, and we will no longer have to traverse the bridge of utter doom and devastation, which I have nearly died multiple times out there, so I will not miss that area. Okay, <laughs> I, I am kind of excited. It looks like the fish tank is intact over there, so I'm happy about that. Let's check on Scar and make sure she is fully intact here. It looks like everything is above board here. We've got the eyes, the hat, and hello. Okay, that was more than I was anticipating. <laughs> that is a lot of information to process here. Okay, um, it's <laughs> cart overload here. Let's, wait, what's this? Oh no, he broke the fish tank! <laughs> With what appears to be a giant glove of some kind, punching the side of the glass. Oh no, the poor fishes! <laughs> <laughs> but let's work our way up. All right. It looks as if uh, Momo's rocket has uh, gone through the side of Grian's house. Okay. Somebody lit that candle. And then moving upwards. Yeah. That's a dragon on the side of Grian's house. And I suspect that's now the highest item. It is. And it's delightful looking. I like it. I like it a lot. Its teeth are a little smaller than Scar's. I think Scar could take that dragon. <laughs> and what? Oh my gosh. That's a hippie caravan. One, the only, and it's flying. It's flying. How is it flying? We may never know. <laughs> and then what is this giant ball? Oh, is this like a moon base? Oh, okay, that's cool. All right, wait a second. How is that flying? And what is that on the back of it? <gasps> oh no, he didn't. Oh no, he did not. <laughs> that's the core. That's Scar's core. That's her life force. <gasps> oh, snap. Yeah. They excavated the reactor. Extreme danger. Radioactive biohazard ahead. 
Evacuate now. Oh no. Ren Bob, oh Ren Bob, what have you done? Oh, that is that is Scar's life force. <laughs> oh my gosh. So Ren Bob must have strapped that on the back and then it turned it into a flying machine. Wow. <laughs> that is fantastic. Where Ren Bob's going? He doesn't need any roads at 88 miles per hour. I'm honestly pretty happy I haven't kept up with things around here because that was an insane surprise to see all the progress behind us. But now, what do we do to retake the top spot as the top house here? And I don't know, like, let's take a little look at what we've done so far. We built Rocket House because what goes up doesn't come down in Minecraft. From there, we cleaned up the environmental hazard that was the rocket crash with the help of HIP, and a tree was planted, but that tree was morphed into this gigantic plant with the radioactive core at the heart. Had a beautiful flower crushed by Grian, which then resulted in Skara. Skara seeking revenge for plant kind upon the Sahara boys. Lost her eyes, and then we put some glasses, a wizard's hat, and gave her a wand 21 blocks long with a core of a vex feather to seek magical revenge against the Sahara boys. But from that, what do we do to regain the top house? And I think. The only solution is Jack and the Giant's Beanstalk, and we're gonna need Scar to grow just a little bit more so we can make that a reality. With what little energy Scar still had within her, she has grown a giant branch for us to work on so that we can both make this a reality because like I said, she does a little bit of energy left within her from the core being removed. So we gotta do this together. And what my idea is, if I can jump up here, there we are, is we're gonna build out a cloud layer above the hat as if these branches are just puncturing the clouds above and I think that'll look really, really cool. And then Scar and I will work together with Scar's magic and our building skills. We will try to build a castle on top of that cloud with a whole bunch of mice and surprises that will really shake up the building competition here. So my friends, let's jump into super fast build mode and make this cloud a reality. End of super fast build mode, and above Scar's head, we've got a giant storm cloud looking super awesome from down below. Man, that is a lot of glass. That's about five shulker boxes worth of glass. It's about four layers to really try to create like a ghostly feel to the glass. And I think it is, I think, I think it's looking pretty sweet. So we need to think about what our next stage of this build is. I think it's gonna be a two part build here because my ambition for what I wanna do on top of that cloud might be too much for this one episode and I'm still not feeling my best. As much as I thought I was, once you kind of get into it, it kind of tuckers you out a little bit. So what I'm gonna do instead of start on the castle, I'm going to make lightning bolts. We can take the yellow glass and build up maybe a darker spot where it's emulating from the cloud and shoot out a lightning bolt down towards Sahara Street or different areas of Hermitville. I think that'd look really cool. And as I said, it's something I've wanted to do for a long time was make a storm cloud. And I think this is finally our chance. Now, of course, Skara is not gonna be able to help us at her fullest extent because of her depletion of her core. So we'll have to help her with her magic until we fill that back up, which we're gonna do in a little bit. But anyway, as you can see, another act of disrespect happened to Skara. 
A creeper blew her hat open. And I mean, come on, she's getting some drafty winds over her head. And I gotta say, Skara must be the most disrespected plant there ever was in Minecraft. If you wanna help fix this disrespect, write something nice about her in the comments or make some kind of fun artwork and send it to me on Twitter. I'd love to see it and I think it would help build up her self-esteem. But until then, it's time to grab up some supplies and let's make some lightning bolts. Time to help out Skara with her magic and start creating some lightning bolts. So I've got an inventory of some supplies. So I've got some black stained glass and some yellow. And my thought process is that we can start kind of darkening this up just a little bit right where some of the actual bolts are coming out of the glass. So there's a good deal of contrast between this whole cloud, right? So we have the white, we have the gray, we have the light gray. And I think this is gonna look absolutely awesome. Amazing. Now, as for the actual bolt, this is what I want to show you real quick. So I want to show you the basic design. So it'll be kind of coming out like that. It'll be angling towards Sahara Street. This this looks terrible. It, it'll look better. Please, please believe me. <laughs> but anyway, let's see if we can actually do this. That looks better than that. With a passion of a thousand Zeus's, Skara has let loose upon Sahara Street with her lightning bolts and they are looking super fancy. Wow, that is so menacing, especially at night with all of the lights on the bolts. So of course, Skara's life forces are very low and we were able to help her build out all of these lightning bolts shooting out from the cloud. Now there is a bit of white glass on them and end rods just give it a little extra texture along the sides and of course the extra light and this is uh, unintentional mob farm number 386 by the way this thing spawns so many mobs <laughs> it's absolutely insane but this has been so much fun to make and once this whole thing has been wrapped up the only thing i'm not gonna miss is building in the air because these bolts took an incredible amount of time mainly because I tore it out like four times because I'm a perfectionist and now it's midnight. <laughs> but it's totally worth it, I think. And this sets us up very, very well for our next build that's going to go on the top there. But I'm also curious, are we the tallest house even without finishing the castle? And the verdict is 242. Oh my gosh, that is, that's awesome. <laughs> oh man, that is pretty darn amazing. But yeah. Actually, that's way more amazing, let's be honest. <laughs> but anyway, Skara, I hope, oh my gosh, that is horrifying. I'm not gonna fix your hat. <laughs> I'm not fixing your hat with that infestation on your brim there, but I did add some lightning bolts like this one that struck Iskull's platform. And then there's another one that hit Sahara Street, Azuma's base, and my all-time favorite lightning bolt, a little tie-in to Star Wars Return of the Jedi. Poor Rendog and his camper van here got struck and it knocked off his antenna. <laughs> Just like Indy, wait, not Indiana Jones, Star Wars. <laughs> Just like Star Wars, looking super, super fancy. But uh, yeah, there we go, guys. I really, really hope you enjoyed today and like our giant lightning bolts that we, oh my gosh, that is so scary. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope you liked our lightning bolts around Skara and are excited as I am for our next episode where we are going to finish this thing with a bang. But until next time, this has been Good Times with Skara and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the videos. And if you believe the videos are already rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to subscribe because you may just become scarred for life. <laughs>